Hey y'all and welcome back to the Pendry home or welcome if you are new here. My name is Lakin and today we are going to be tackling the nursery. We had our baby shower over the weekend so my house is a disaster between all of the baby shower like decorations and food stuff that came back and all of that in the kitchen and then of course the nursery is just taking off. So <clears throat> I've already started kind of cleaning up a little bit as far as like in the kitchen and stuff. And just depending on how much time I have today depends on if we will fully get all of that cleaned up. I really want to just go through this stuff because I want to start getting all of his clothes washed and all of that. Even though I won't get them washed today, just getting all the tags off of them and getting everything just ready to wash is kind of a main priority. And then um, also so I can send out thank you cards to everybody um, because we were showered with so much love and blessings and we are so very grateful for everybody who has loved on our baby boy. Um, and yeah, so I really just want to get a lot of this stuff sorted out so I can get thank you cards in the mail um, and all of that. And yeah, just get everything put together in 31 weeks. I'll show you guys the bump he is growing he is moving <laughs> a lot and um we are in our last final weeks and um i'm just excited to get everything done and get him safely home um of course when he's ready <laughs> and uh yes yeah. so without further ado i'm gonna turn you guys around kind of show you what we're working with fully and then we're gonna get started <laughs> So this is everything that we're working with. <laughs> it is a lot. And then over here, there's some, I think those are wipes. And then I've got just some decor, diapers, a ton of stuff. So that's what we're gonna be working with and we're gonna get this place in shape, <laughs> hopefully. So while I am organizing all of this baby shower stuff. Um, if you too have something that you need to organize, then organize along with me. And then I'm also just gonna chat with y'all and then we're also gonna do a few Bible verses as well. Um, but I'm just gonna share what's on my heart. So when I was sitting here organizing and doing all this stuff, um, it just brought me back to a time where I remember just sitting and praying for the things that God has given us now. Um, and one of those is obviously for us to be able to have a baby. Um, if you are new here, then me and my husband went through infertility to have our baby. Um, and it took us two years to get pregnant with him. And we ended up having to do IVF and it was a very long journey. Um, I'm thankful that it was only two years because I know a lot of people go through infertility a lot longer even though those two years felt like a lifetime and a lot happened in that period of time. Um, so, but I just remember, I don't, if you've been here for a while, then you know that this was not our first, this isn't our first house. This is the second house that we've lived in since we've been married. Um, and in our first house, I actually had two extra spare bedrooms and Whenever we got married and we were redoing our home and painting it and we remodeled our bathroom, we had two extra bedrooms, which I turned into guest bedrooms and I painted them. The bedrooms, I painted more towards a boy um, in hopes of us obviously having future children because we, we didn't know if we would... Um, be pregnant in that house. We knew we were going to sell that house eventually. We didn't know how soon we were going to sell it. It ended up happening a lot sooner than we had thought was going to, but um, it all worked out. <laughs> but regardless, um, so I painted one of the bedrooms like more of a boy color, and then I painted the other bedroom for more of a girl color. So if we were to have gotten pregnant, because um, we were trying, um, then I would have a boy nursery and it would kind of just be more easy to kind of set that up. And then I had the other bedroom that could easily be transitioned into a girl's nursery. Whenever we moved into our current house, which is the one that you see right now, um, 
we only have one bedroom. And so we were already so far into the process of having a child and going through infertility that we were about to do IUI. And then we knew that if the IUI had failed, then we would start IVF. So I didn't even want to put any kind of bedroom furniture in this bedroom. I didn't want to have like a mattress or a bed or anything that I would have to move um, because I had already prepared for us to have a baby um, because, you know, just like prayerfully um, and um, just by faith and just being hopeful, like just knew that, you know, the Lord was going to bless us with a child and that I didn't want to have like all that to have to clean out for the nursery. So this like was always just the nursery. And I remember when we moved here, just sitting in this room and I just remember like coming in here and sitting and praying and just talking to the Lord and just really like giving him my heart and about, you know, giving us a baby. And no matter what we had to go through, I was willing to go through it as long as it was of him. And if it was what he would have us to do, then, you know, that's obviously what I wanted to do. I was willing to do whatever I had to do in order to have a baby and for it to be a testimony for others and that the Lord would use what we were going through in our childbearing as a testimony to help other women and other couples um, to have a baby, that one day we would be able to share that journey and it would be a help and a light to others. And the Lord has definitely done just that. He has used it in so many ways to be an encouragement to other couples going through the same journey. And that was just one of my prayers that that he would use it that way. And it absolutely has been used that way. So when we were going through IVF, I used the baby's closet as like, I would buy like little baby onesies and stuff as like faith purchases. And I would save things, um, you know, that I could possibly use in the nursery. And I kept all of our IVF stuff in there too. So I kept like all the injections like that we had used and like all the medication bottles. And um, I just had a bunch of like things and I would just go in there, sit and talk and pray and, you know, look at everything and like what we were going through and just really just talk to the Lord. And I had fully like just prepared my heart, you know, in the waiting um, and just waiting on the Lord to give us that miracle. While I was sitting here going through this, it just kind of all brought me back to that. So a verse or two verses in the Bible that kind of go along with that is Psalms chapter 27, verse 13 and 14. And in verse 13, it says, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And then verse 14 says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. And that is so true. Just waiting on the Lord for something that you've been praying about for so long, or you're going through this difficult journey, but you like fully submit yourself unto God and you let him have full control and you just wait upon him the things that he will do and he will strengthen you and he will give you so much courage just as the bible says you know he shall strengthen thine heart um if you just wait upon him and he will and he will use you um in a miraculous way and he will use your testimony because i feel like every bad thing that we possibly might go through or even anything good you know we can use that to help others and if you'll just open your heart and your mind to I'm going to be able to help somebody with this one day. It'll change your whole perspective. It'll take that bitterness away that you might have in your heart um, about whatever journey you're going through, um, especially a dark time. It'll really change the way that you look at it. Um, and you can just be joyful in your waiting. So I hope somebody found encouragement in that and just very thankful that God answered our prayer of giving us a son um, and we are so excited for him to be here um, but I hope y'all also found encouragement in that. All right so it may not look like I've made much progress <laughs> but I've actually made quite a lot so um, I got all the new clothes from the baby shower everything undone tags off 
and all of that and then i also had his whole closet was already kind of full of clothes not the whole closet but there was a ton of clothes in his closet and then there was a ton of clothes in the floor that people had gave to us and then i also had a whole basket that was given to us as well so i now have all of that um sorted out here so i can get all of that stuff washed and my ultimate goal is to just put like newborn in zero to three months in his dresser and like the top drawers will be diaper diapers wipes and then like ointments and stuff like that and then the rest will be like his onesies and hat socks bibs things like that so and then i'll hang the rest of it so i do got to get more hangers but i'm not gonna wash anything today and then i kind of just sorted everything and then also his whole closet is full of like diapers and wipes and i need to organize and clean out that but i'm not gonna get that done today so yeah um it's a work in progress but we're making a lot of progress thankfully <laughs> it's a lot of work though all right, so it has been a few days since I have been in here. Um, I was last in here on Monday and it is Friday now. And I actually just finished cleaning up the house so I could work in here a little bit. Um, so I got all of his laundry washed. Um, the only thing left to wash is some of his blankets. So I have been working on putting it away. Unfortunately, I am gonna run out of hangers, but I'm gonna put some of, um, his, more of his clothes away because I do have still a few hangers here. It's just that I washed like his more dressier clothes. So I definitely wanted to get those hung up. Um, and then I just have all of our like little side tables here with a bunch of clothes laid out so it wouldn't wrinkle really bad. And then all of that. But I am going to have to go buy more hangers. I will probably try to go tomorrow to buy some more hangers. Um, but... Yeah, he just has a lot of clothes, but thankfully, like I said, we are getting them all washed and everything. I still need to wash this blanket too. Um, but, and then I have his crib sheets are washed. I just got to get, we just don't have um, his crib mattress yet, so we still have to get his mattress. Um, and then I can get that done and all that. But that's what we're doing right now i'm gonna go grab his more dressier type clothes and get those hung up and while i'm hanging them up i'm gonna update y'all i went to the doctor yesterday to the cardiologist and i just want to say thank you all for your prayers for him um we do have some good news but i will tell y'all about that here in a minute <laughs> All right, so hopefully the fan isn't too loud. Um, I have the fan on because we are in the season of when it's like this outside, we like to turn everything off. We don't have the heat running or the AC running. And we just let the house like have windows open and fans on and just let the house kind of breathe. Um, and I don't want to turn the air condition on even though it has gotten really hot the past two days. It's been in the 80s. Um, because we're supposed to have like another cooler spell come through and so i told houston i was like we're not going to turn the air conditioner on because it's just going to get cool and then the house will cool off like extremely and it'll be like really cold in here so um i don't want to turn the air conditioner on for that reason um but i'm going to hang up his clothes like i said and i will tell y'all about the cardiology appointment so we went yesterday me and my mom went and um he um, they obviously, you know, did this, the, they did another echocardiogram and his, um, little heart valve is just unique. That's what the doctor said. The cardiologist said, she said that his is just shaped unique. It's smaller than normal, but it's not getting any smaller. So like when they first saw it at the first cardiology appointment, it was smaller, the blood flow and everything. And that obviously had to you know because it is smaller it does um mess with the blood flow um but it it's just smaller i mean it's just a unique his is just shaped differently than your normal um babies and but it's completely fine um they are gonna keep me monitored every three weeks until he's here so i'll probably only see them two more times to get echocardiograms done just to make sure that 
you know, it is just this unique little valve that he has. Um, his is just different. But they, um, so every, like I said, every three weeks I'll go. So I go back May 11th and um, they will be there whenever I deliver. So they'll be at the hospital whenever I deliver him. And then um, they're gonna take him for a heart scan, which then they'll really be able to get a good one because it is really hard to get one with him in the womb because he is very squished inside of me <laughs> because we're, you know, he's making room, he's coming out making room. But um, I'm where I have like a very short torso. He is just very squished in there. Um, so, and for some reason, every time we go to the cardiologist, he likes to take a nap. He doesn't want to be bothered and he just likes to sleep. So he was extremely active, moving around and everything while we were waiting in the waiting room to go do the echocardiogram. And then as soon as they started, he just went to sleep. So that's what my child likes to do. He likes to sleep at the cardiologist. Um, he cannot be bothered and uh, you can't wake him up once he's asleep, which I will say he does get that from me because I am a, when I'm asleep, I just want to be left alone. So he just kind of rolled over. His back was like here, his head was down here, his back was this way and he was all curled up. His legs and feet were all up in my ribs and he was just snoozing away. I tried to wake him up, she tried to wake him up. When he's asleep, he's just out. He's a really good sleeper, so we hope he stays that way. He takes his naps during the day. He's very scheduled, and then he sleeps all night. But, like I said, thankfully, we're just going to keep him monitored just to be on the safe side, pretty much. And then, um, once he's here, he doesn't even need that valve anymore. He just needs it in the womb. Um, so... Thankfully, they just want to make sure that it is going to close properly um, whenever he gets here. But yeah, so that's the update with him. And we are very thankful again. Thank you all for your prayers. Um, we've had a lot of people praying because it can be a very scary situation, especially if it would have closed in the womb. So we're just very thankful um, that he is happy and healthy. He is extremely healthy. Um, just a happy little baby boy he's just precious but um yeah so that's the update with him i go to my normal doctor next week so i see them next wednesday and they're going to do a growth scan on him so we're going to get to know how much he weighs and how long he is he is a very long baby he has very long legs like his daddy but um we're gonna kind of get an estimation on weight and height so I'm really excited about that and then um, that's pretty much it so it's uh, like I said now we're just in the more waiting weeks of waiting for him to get here so thankfully I get to go naturally and just wait on him whenever he's ready so I'm really excited for him to be here and that I get to go naturally because I want to have a natural birth. Um, I don't think I've talked about that either. So I do not want an epidural. I am not opposed to getting IV pain medication though. I just don't want an epidural. And with the IV pain medication, it kind of just, from what I've heard, just takes the edge off. And I feel like I will be good. I don't want to be induced. Um, I want to have a water tub in the room. We are going to deliver at the hospital, but they are going to provide us a water, a birthing tub. Um, so I do want to do that and I want to go as naturally as possible. And I will have the IV ready in case I want some pain medication, but um, that's it. I just, I want to go as natural as I can. Um, that's just, that's just how I want to, I don't know, that's just my goal, that's how I want to have a baby, and I pray that that's how it will go, that everything will go smoothly, um, and that I will progress quickly <laughs> so I can get him here, but I'm also, you know, that's my plan, 
you know, birth plan, whatever. But I also know things can happen. And if that's, you know, whatever's meant to happen will happen. And if they end up having to do whatever, um, then that will be okay too. I'm not going to be stubborn and be like, no, I'm doing it this way, even if that's what I want. Um, sometimes it's not what we need. So I'm, um, I'm not going to be stubborn, but I do want to birth that way. I want to have a natural birth. Um, it just will be monitored at the hospital. I just feel safer being at the hospital um, to have him. I would love to one day have a home birth. But with the first baby, you just never know what's gonna happen. Well, you never know what's gonna happen with any birth. But especially with the first one, you just, it's your first time, you don't know what to expect. So, um, I just, I would rather be in the hospital setting with the first one, just in case um, something was to happen. You know, it could, it's just a lot easier for them to intervene and, and do what they need to do. So, yeah, so that's my kind of birthing plan. Pretty simple. Um, We'll see what happens but I'm gonna continue putting these up and then I'm gonna turn y'all around and show y'all his name sign came today um, that's gonna go above his crib and then I think I'm gonna try to move the dresser because I can move it myself and um, rearrange a little bit and then we can start putting diapers and wipes and um, some of these onesies and stuff I'm gonna fold to put in his dresser and I also have another cart that I'm actually using right now. Um, I got this little cart. It's a little rolly cart and it's a three tier one. And I got that because I really wanted to um, stock it with diapers and wipes and creams and then with all my breast kind of supplies too. Um, so that way it's just a lot easier. I can roll it from room to room. So whichever room we're in, I can keep it by my bed at night since I am, like I said, going to co-sleep with his, um, bassinet for at least eight weeks is the plan. It may be longer than that, but, um, he'll be in our room for at least eight weeks. Um, we'll see whenever I transition him, but, um, I'm going to keep it stocked and then that way it can be in our room too at night. Um, so yeah, we'll probably try to stock some of it. I don't have everything yet because I still need to get some more like creams, like diaper creams and stuff like that. There's still like a few things that I need to get, but for the most part, um, we can get get some of this stocked and I also want to get some organizers for the drawers too so you know well it's a work in progress for sure all right so I finished hanging up what I could he just has so many clothes but I'll have more room once I get but y'all look at this I only have that much more room up top and then but on the bottom, I'll have a lot more room once I get all this stuff. I'm going to end up moving all these diapers and wipes to our bathroom linen closet. Um, I just have to get it cleaned out, and I have not done that yet. So, I am going to end up moving all those in there. But, this is the little cart I was talking about. It's going to be so handy. I got it in the, like, sage green color. A little bit more army greenish. Um, cause we have a lot of that color in our house too. So it kind of matches with everything as well. So I'm going to show y'all his name sign. I also picked up his mirror. I found his mirror off the of Facebook marketplace and it just matches perfectly with everything. I'm so excited about it. And then I'm going to try to rearrange a little bit and see what I can do. Here is his name sign that came in to this morning. Um, so I just got the um, natural wood in it because I didn't know if I wanted to paint it gold because he has all the gold accents or if I wanted to stain it to the color of his furniture. I'm probably going to end up staining it the color of his furniture and... Um, it's gonna go above his crib. I feel like this will just blend in too much with the wall. Um, I can kind of, yeah, that's just gonna blend too much. So I feel like staining at the color of his furniture, which is chestnut, 
will be our best bet, but I wanted to lay it out and show y'all. I absolutely love it. It's gonna be so sweet. And then here is his dresser, and here is the mirror that I got, again, off of Facebook Marketplace. I absolutely love it. Um, it is kind of like a brassy gold, um, and I just love the detailing on it. I love how big it is. It's really heavy, um, and it just matches so well, and it's going to look so good. But I think I'm going to move the dresser over here. There's a couple boxes in the hallway. It is, like, crazy out there. Um, and then move this, like, reading nook over here. And I'm just going to clean up all this stuff. So that is my plan of action. We will see how well this goes. This is all the laundry. So this is all newborn. So this is like what I'm gonna fold to put in the dresser. And then this is all just different sizes that still need to be hung up because I'm gonna like keep them switched out. Um, but yeah, so we will see. It's gonna be a lot of work, but we're gonna get it done. All right, so I actually moved the dresser over here and then these are all the clothes I'm gonna fold and put in the dresser. And then this got out of the wash and I put it on his little changing pad. So this is the same as his crib sheet. So it'll all tie in and look really good together. And then I moved the rocker over here. Um, and then we still have all this diaper and wipe situation too, but I'm going to try to get those moved out of the closet and maybe just stacked in front of the window here until i can move them to the bathroom um, but i am going to go ahead and put some wipes and diapers in the drawer too and then he had some like medicines and creams and stuff as well that i'll probably go ahead and put over here um and then like as i get all this stuff folded so we're gonna go ahead and do that and yeah i think That'll be a good start. I also count it to see how many um, hangers I still need it. And I think if I buy 60 more, I got 40 more like onesies to hang up. But I'm just going to go ahead and get 20 extras because, you know, this stuff's going to need to be probably hung too or whatever. And then if he gets any more clothes and stuff like that. So I'm probably just going to buy 60 more. as always that if anybody has any prayer requests then you can always leave those down in the comments below or if you have a praise report I would love to read through that as well I also want to say that I do read through those and unfortunately in this time of my life um, it is a lot harder for me to get back with you guys I do love chatting with y'all and so I do apologize if it takes me like a week or longer to comment on your um, on your comments below or your prayer request. I do see those as they come up and I do say a prayer as soon as I see it. I just may not have the time to sit there and comment on it um, when I get notified. But I do see those and I am praying with y'all. And I just wanted to say that, but y'all see, you know, this is a very busy time in our life as we are preparing for the baby, but I hope y'all understand. And also I want y'all to know that you can and I hope that you find this encouraging that I'm not the only one that prays for you when you leave those prayer requests. There are so many sweet ladies in this community that also see those prayer requests and I know they're praying for you as well. Um, I, I absolutely, without a doubt, know that there are others reading those prayer requests and are also lifting you up or that prayer up. Um, so I hope you find that encouraging that there are multiple people praying um, and also praising with you. Um, so I just wanted y'all to know that.
All right, so for his cart, I just put a pack of newborn diapers. These are the Pampers Swaddlers. Um, I'm just gonna try different ones because I have so many different ones. And then I put some Destin up here too. And then I'll probably end up getting some more like creams, lotion stuff to go up here. Um, then on this one, I put wipes. And then I also can put wipes here if I need to. Um, you know, I can kind of rearrange it. This is just making it a little easier. And then I put all the sleeper gowns on this one too. So if he messes one up, I can just pop another sleeper gown on him. These are all like burp cloths and stuff like that. And then I also put like the little first aid kit um, or baby care kit. It has like a thermometer, nail clippers, a bunch of like different things. It has like a hairbrush. I'll open it and show y'all. If I can do it one handed. Here we go. It has like all the kind of little essentials here. So um, I just put that on the cart as well. Easy to get to. And then I also put this, which I got a sterilize it the haka uh breast pump i also put that down here too and i'll probably end up putting some more of like my breastfeeding supplies too on here but this is a good little start for the cart um and then i can just roll that around from room to room then in this top drawer here i put a bunch of wipes and then i did the huggies um, what are these? The Huggy Snugglers, um, in Newborn. They're really cute. Um, I put those up here, and then I also have some more Destin. This is the Maximum Strength, and I'll get some more, like, diaper creams and, uh, like, Vaseline and stuff like that to go up here. And then on this side, I just made it really easy. I put, like, his little pants. So these are all outfits, like, onesies that don't have bottoms on them and or like footies and bottoms so i put all of the like more newborn zero to three month size pants to go with these i may get another pack of just plain colors because we're gonna need some more um especially like to go with these colors and stuff this one might look good but i might have to i'm just gonna get him another pack of little pants um, so these are the long sleeve ones, and then these are the short sleeve ones, and then the pants, um, to go with them. So, I'll put those in there, and then these are the footy ones. So, I try to put, like, all the newborn ones here, and then put it zero to three. Um, so, those are all the footy ones. And some of them don't have footies on them, but I can put his socks on them. So, I'm going to also get his bibs and socks and stuff put away too. Um, there's nothing in this bottom drawer yet. And then there's nothing in this drawer. In this drawer, I just threw a bunch of his like bathing stuff, lotion stuff, um, saline spray, towel, some Motrin. I got some nipple butters, which I might end up putting in the cart too. Some teeters, which I might put on the cart, which he won't need those for a while. Some other teethers. I gotta, like I said, sterilize all that. And then there's another baby kit, which I'm gonna get like a, for the organizing trays, so this won't be, you know, I just kind of put this stuff in here for now. Um, and I'll probably, I have some passies over here too. And then like all this feed and stuff, I'm gonna take this out to the kitchen. Um, but I have some too. I gotta work through that. But I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and if you did, as always, then make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you are new here, then don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so you can join the Pendry Home family. I would love to have you over here on my channel, um, especially as we enter into this journey of motherhood. I need all of the prayers and love and support that I can get from y'all um, as we welcome baby boy into the world. Um, Again, I always say this, we are just so excited for him to be here. He is an answered prayer, and I know that a lot of y'all also help pray for us um, during 
all of that, but we're just so excited to share him with y'all here soon. Not much longer. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see y'all next time. Bye y'all.